Rarotonga is one of 15 small islands that comprise the Cook Islands. It's believed that there are at least 1,400 dogs living there, many of them homeless. We love the little puppies because they're nice and cuddly and, and fluffy. But as they grow older, people just don't care anymore. So the dog wanders away from home because they don't get fed, they don't get looked after. This is where most of our homeless dogs come from. Dog ownership is unique here, as many of the owned dogs are free to wander with the homeless ones. They roam around restaurants and the town market searching for scraps. Some of them are a bit more adventurous and hunt for their meals. Dog population is managed by the police um, to the best of our ability at the moment. They become a problem when they attack animals, goats or pigs. Uh, the other main complaint is wandering on the road and causing traffic crashes. Dogs that cause these kinds of problems can be legally destroyed. Animals are destroyed by a um, shot to the head. We have a dog control officer who's a police officer, but his main duty is uh, animal control. We try and humanely shoot them. Um, at the moment, the stats are running at about, um, about 30 a month we're destroying. So uh, I don't think he, in all fairness, gets it right every time. On Rarotonga, it is also legal to shoot any uncollared dog that hasn't been sterilized, including this dog, a stray living on the beach. If left unneutered and roaming like this, he could be destroyed. Thankfully, the Esther Honey Foundation got to him first. The Esther Honey Foundation is a free clinic working hard to help animals on Rarotonga. Sterilization is essential to control the numbers of unwanted animals on the island, so the clinic's team of volunteer vets is embarking on an extensive spay and neuter program. There's about 600 canines that we are looking at spaying and neutering over the coming months. If we can look at doing around 10 to 15 a day, um, we think we can achieve that within a sort of three or four month period. Though the police refuse to stop shooting the dogs, they are assisting the foundation with this sterilization effort. We've been destroying dogs for a long, long time. That clearly hasn't had a major impact, so let's try something different to complement the, the destroying of them. If that works, that's great. If it doesn't work, well, what have we lost? Not too much. We can achieve a 70% um, spay-neuter of the canine population. We will be able to stabilise it. We want to ensure that um, if there are dogs on the island, that they are dogs that are wanted and loved and nurtured and looked after and live happy, healthy lives. I think to take an animal, you have to be responsible until the animal dies. And food, water, all the things that goes, just like a human, human being. Everything we need, the animals need it too. Help save the lives of dogs and cats on Rarotonga by donating to the Esther Honey Foundation. Visit www.estherhoney.org to learn more.